Hello everyone, I am Swasti Thredri and I am Anish Kumar and together we are students of Standard 11th of Ulipa School, West Bukaro, Tampa. And today we present to you our submission for this year's CBSC Science Exhibition. In the last millennium or so, there have been many great innovations graced the human race that have been for the better. But for us, the LFC that currently resides in Geneva, Switzerland, stands at the peak of modern science. Today, we present to you a miniature version of the LHC. What is the LHC? LHC, which stands for the Large Hadron Collider, is one of the greatest marvel marvels of human engineering. It's a vacuum tube as large as a complete city that accelerates two opposite charges in opposite directions. In every one in a millionth time, when they crash with each other, they create energy so high that if harnessed, could light up an entire state. Today, we are going to depict a sort of microscopic level of our concept. To resemble actual LFC, we have used this of a futuristic uh, city power by the particle accelerator alone. The city sits upon uh, this wooden base and we have kept in mind by, uh, for using old papers and old toys to build buildings and doors. On the wooden stand sits actual miniature particle accelerator made up of transparent pipe which can be easily available in our houses and the solenoid of our uh, 150 tons and uh, by depicting this depicts superconductor magnet in the LHC and uh, by connecting uh, power source uh, with uh, this uh, amplifier and uh, when uh, we display it's working as a particle accelerator and this can generally uh, create as much power which can light up whole city if uh, harnessed very uh, technologically and uh, this will help in uh, our future transport, uh, transport, transportation by using this uh, electromagnetic induction theory. Back in 2011, we saw the most deserving Nobel Prize given to Peter Higgs. Why was it given? It was because of this engineering marvel known as LHC. He smashed atoms and ions together to produce a plethora of fermions that also resulted in a great amount of lattice energy which when harnessed was used to light up the whole Geneva. Now, I am going to explain how the actual LHC works. Consider this little bob magnet as a vehicle or more particularly a particle. These coils made up of solenoid represent the superconductive magnets in the actual LHC. Now it is not possible to have those superconductors here at, at this time so we have used solenoid accelerators in, uh, in place of them. What will happen when I switch on the power which we are, uh, by which we are using a refractor, rectifier, sorry, which uh, can we see. What will happen is the free flow of ions in the particular directions and on a very macroscopic level, when they will smash together, they will produce the same energy and that will help us to light the whole city. Now to demonstrate the effects of that, uh, of that power, we will use the concept of magnetic effects of current through this solenoid. When I will switch on the power source, it should deflect. As you can see, the bob goes inside the solenoid. We are providing it with 12 volts of energy, electricity, and slowly and slowly it moves. Now, what are its applications? Its applications could be a numerous things, but two of those which we want to highlight are first of all the working of an actual LC to power up an entire city by sm smashing ions together. The next one is a little bit of a contribution from us. We can consider this a magnetic tunnel, a new form of transportation and this bob magnet as a vehicle. To get, to get from this region to here, we won't require any sort of deficient fuel. There will be no emission of any harmful gases 
it will be just pure power of physics. Now, when this supermagnets will work, it will reflect and get to the actual destination. However, we cannot show this on a microscopic level because the power would be too much for this pipe to handle. But it will work something like this. Our main purpose of creating this miniature LFC is to create as much excitement about partic particle physics uh, among the youngsters as they are about space science today. Maybe in the future people will be more particular when looking at particle physics and they may realize the power, the potential that India holds for a new leadership country. Thank you.